Andrew Tate is a puzzle, a man of stark contrasts. He is a champion kickboxer, yet also a polarizing internet personality. He flaunts wealth and luxury while preaching self-discipline and hard work. Tate's story is a cautionary tale of ambition, fame, and the perils of influence in the digital age. His rise to notoriety is inextricably linked to the internet, where he amassed a vast following of young men drawn to his brash persona and unconventional views. He positions himself as a self-help guru, offering advice on wealth creation, dating, and personal development. Tate's message resonates with a demographic often overlooked by mainstream media and traditional role models. His methods may be questionable, but his impact is undeniable. Andrew Tate's journey began far from the limelight of internet fame. Born in the United States, he spent his formative years in England. He rose to prominence in the world of professional kickboxing, showcasing his fighting prowess and earning championship titles. This period instilled in him a discipline and work ethic that would later translate into his entrepreneurial ventures. Tate's entrepreneurial spirit led him to explore various avenues, from running a casino business to establishing online courses. He understood the power of branding and self-promotion, leveraging his kickboxing fame to build a following online. Tate's online courses initially focused on self-improvement and wealth creation, targeting young men seeking guidance and direction. However, Tate's focus gradually shifted towards more controversial topics, including dating advice and masculinity. This shift in content attracted a larger audience, but also drew criticism for its misogynistic undertones and questionable ethics. Andrew Tate's rise to internet fame is a testament to his understanding of online platforms and their power to amplify a message. He utilizes social media with savvy, crafting a persona designed to attract attention and provoke reactions. His content, often provocative and controversial, is tailored to generate engagement and fuel his online empire. Tate's self-help advice intertwined with his controversial views on women and masculinity creates a potent mix that resonates with a specific demographic. He presents himself as a challenge to societal norms, a rebel against the established order. However, Tate's teachings often lack nuance and rely on generalizations that perpetuate harmful stereotypes. His portrayal of women as subservient to men and his emphasis on material wealth as a measure of success raise concerns about the values he espouses. Critics argue that Tate's rhetoric normalizes misogyny and promotes a distorted view of masculinity. Andrew Tate's controversial lifestyle and outspoken views have repeatedly brought him into conflict with the law. His legal troubles began with accusations of assault and domestic violence, allegations he vehemently denies. In December 2022, Tate was arrested in Romania on charges of human trafficking and rape. The details of the case remain shrouded in legal proceedings, but the allegations against him are serious and carry significant potential consequences. Tate maintains his innocence, claiming the charges are fabricated and part of a larger conspiracy against him. The Romanian authorities allege that Tate and his associates lured women into their circle under false pretenses, subjecting them to coercion and exploitation. The outcome of this case will likely have significant implications for Tate's future and the legacy he leaves behind. Andrew Tate's story raises important questions about the nature of influence in the digital age. His rapid rise to fame highlights the ease with which individuals can amass a following online, regardless of the content they promote. It also underscores the potential consequences of unchecked influence, particularly when wielded by individuals with controversial views and questionable motives. Tate's case serves as a stark reminder that online platforms are not neutral spaces. The algorithms that govern these platforms often prioritize engagement over ethical considerations, amplifying content that is sensational or controversial. Social media companies have a duty to implement stricter content moderation policies and prevent the spread of harmful content. Ultimately, individuals must cultivate media literacy skills to critically evaluate the information they encounter online. Andrew Tate's story is far from over. His legal battles continue, and the full extent of his alleged crimes remains to be seen. Regardless of the outcome of these proceedings, his legacy is likely to be debated for years to come. 
He will be remembered as a complex and contradictory figure, both admired and reviled for his actions and beliefs. Tate's impact on popular culture is undeniable. He has sparked conversations about masculinity, power dynamics, and the role of social media in shaping our values. The controversy surrounding Tate serves as a cautionary tale, reminding us of the importance of critical thinking and responsible online engagement. But only time will tell how Andrew Tate's story will ultimately unfold. Thank you.